Hey everybody, Dorian here, and today we're going to be playing a game called Blameless. Uh, so this is, came out on Steam probably, uh, it was like mid-October, and it's an adventure puzzle game um, with some horror elements to it. Um, very much like a lot of other games I've played if you've watched, um, like I'm Ethan an architect. Carter in the park. Freelance, so I take okay. job offers as they arise. Okay. So when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He right. said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. Seems I always respected normal. people who can do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I already had a couple of ideas. Cool. It was cool. already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. It's a little weird. And I tried to comply because I didn't want to lose this offer. Still kind of sketchy. With my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area quite remote, mm -hmm. but with other houses nearby, quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. Mm -hmm. It was a temporary mm -hmm. fence, and the mm -hmm. gate was made of rotting wooden planks. Uh -huh. That wasn't a clear sign, maybe you it shouldn't go in there. There was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He How took do you not put rooms, two and two together? So I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain first glance it seems like brick dust all right that's but normal then i realized it was blood oh well, okay spilled on the floor okay I let's go in anyway there was another worker who got injured so yeah I totally to tell the man totally i saw his hand raised to hit me he was holding a metal rod before i could defend myself he hit me in the head bunk i must have passed out i don't know how long i was out yeah must have <sighs> when i woke up <sighs> yeah all right, so the guy basically comes up to this house in the middle of the night, starts looking a little sketchy, sees some blood, and he's still uh, hanging out around there? Like, uh, I mean, I guess after hurt. he saw the blood, he started leaving, but still, shouldn't have gone to that point in the first place. He should have just booked it and ran. Uh, okay, so I can I can pick stuff up, but that's a little weird. Can I throw him? Eh. You might nope. be able to get further through the attic. Okay. I don't like his voice. Is that a weird thing? Is that weird? I just I don't I don't really care for it. Another question. This question does not look like it's the result of a banal injury. Banal injury? Who says that? This looks like something was being dragged across the bloodstain. I okay, you know what it is? Know what it is? I'll get into it in a sec. Seems Let's go fresh. This one. The blood hasn't completely dried out yet. Yeah, cool. Good job. Detective. Looks more. Okay. Uh, I know what bugs me about his voice. So today at work, I spent the whole day doing those like standard uh, watching those like employee video things. Um, but State Farm has like four days worth. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm over here watching these videos all day, and this motherfucker has the same monotone voice. That they all have! What the fuck do I do with that saw? Alright, cool, I have... Whatever the fuck this is. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh! It's slipping. I can't turn it by hand. Okay, you pussy. Whatever. Wasn't there something I threw a little while ago that I actually kind of need now? Shit, where did I throw that? Alright, so I stuck that thing in there, and I guess I'm gonna have to crank it with this, maybe? No? That's not what you want from me? Fuck you. How am I supposed to bend you? What's this? What's this? Uh. Why would you make players have to walk through this labyrinth of darkness? Let me see this. This labyrinth of darkness searching around on the floor for 20 fucking minutes just to finally find a goddamn light. This better fucking work. Okay, this better fucking work. The logic behind that. You have a fucking clamp, but you need a goddamn fucking pipe. 
sorry. I try not to to get too angry at these games. But sometimes the puzzles are just fucking stupid. Open. Open. I kind of want to find the guy who knocked me out and put me in here so I can fucking hit him with this hammer. Where's the goddamn hammer? Get over here. I just feel safe with it. Yeah, I know. There's fucking blood on the ground. All right. I got a hammer. Not that I can probably use that as a weapon anyways, but let's just fucking get upstairs. Into the attic. Into this. Shit, it's dark. Oh, yeah. It's an attic. We don't have a fucking flashlight, because God forbid we give people flashlights in horror games anymore. Not that this is really a horror game, but, you know. What the hell was that? Probably the guy who knocked you out and dragged you in here. That'd be my guess. Do I have to crouch under this, too? Can I crouch under this? There we go. Great. Back in we go. Oh look, another pipe. I guess I'll have to use that for something. Kinda want that crowbar. That crowbar might be better. It's stuck underneath the beam. <sighs> Maybe this pipe will help me. I swear to God, if this, they want me to use this pipe to get this crowbar out. No, okay, so they're not being dumb again. All right, time for puzzle number two. Oh, bolt cutters. I feel like these will be useful for something, but for what, I do not know. Crowbar? I don't I don't know why they would work with the crowbar, but at this point, like, anything fucking makes sense? Does anything make any sense in this game? Because I don't think so. Let's look around the floor for another light. Maybe, maybe we'll find it. Fuck, where am I? Where am I? Okay. It's holding with the wires. Mmm. Good thing I have this bolt cutter here. The wire cutters are broken. The hinge on that handle should attach. But it's missing. Great! Let's go find a fucking attachment to a... To a bolt cutter. Because that's going to be easy to find in the dark. It'll be so easy to find... In the dark. What's this? Nails? Don't think that's a nail. What do I use this for? Is that a shovel? I'd like to use the shovel. Shovel, please! No? Okay. Maybe this goes to here? not in place. I, I know. The handle I know. Not in place. Okay, so that the handle is doesn't go place. to that. Okay. Well, now we know. We need to find the handle's not in place. Okay. It has to be something with a nail. There's been nothing else. And it, it wouldn't let me do this if there wasn't, like, some point to it. Okay, no, 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 no. Last time it said, let me pick this up. Last time it said the handle wasn't in place. It didn't give me the option to fucking move this. What the hell? What the hell? Why, why didn't you give me the option to do this before? And how do I get the fucking thing in? Are you sear? Maybe I am just too dumb because the, the, it was the obvious choice, right? Like I tried that before. I just couldn't figure out how to work this thing, I guess. So I guess that's on me for being stupid, but I don't know what the fuck's up with the crowbar though. Is there any others? Is that all of them? Is the door gonna open now? All right, cool. Oh, oh. oh shit. That jump scare, guys. Careful. Well, the light turned off, so I guess I'm not going that way. I'll just follow this wall. I guess I am going that way. Never mind. Forget everything I said. Don't mind the fact that it's pitch black. I have no idea where I'm going. Is that a door? Maybe. 
I don't actually know. God. I usually don't complain. Shut up. I usually don't complain too much when I'm playing these kinds of games. Like, I get puzzles can be difficult, and I don't have the best track record with them, but still, like, this is painfully not obvious. The fuse box opener is locked in the old house in my duffel bag. Okay, so find a duffel bag, I guess. Guess I'll go find a duffel bag, guys. Because that's what I should be focusing on right now. Did I just come from down here? No. No, I didn't. I don't like the look of that dark corridor. Let's see if the light switch is working. Corridor. It's a corridor, not corridor. Great. There. This doesn't look creepy at all. All right, well, this room's also empty. All right, all right, cool. So we finally got a flashlight. That's great. I'm gonna keep this thing fucking equipped. Um, yeah, there was nothing in these rooms. Um, okay, so where to now? Let's open that door and see what's out here. Is this the outside? Awesome, let's get... Finally out of the house. Cool. Now, how do we get home? Like, how do we escape from this place? There's the house. Cool, I don't want to be there. Alright, that's blocked off. Maybe I can escape through here? Locked. Cool. You know, if I was a normal person, which obviously I'm not in this game, I would just climb on top of that, go to the other side, and run away. Just saying. Just saying, that would have been an option in my life had this been happening to me. And I love how I have this flashlight that doesn't light anything up. This dark-ass flashlight. Alright, well, obviously the game wants us to go on into other buildings, so that doesn't open for whatever reason all the way. Seriously? Oh, come on. Such a hard puzzle. Move the move the fucking cylinders. Alright, okay, so obviously I want to use that because it's a fucking ladder. And there was that ladder over here, somewhere over there, that wasn't completely finished being put together, so... Context clues for you. What can I grab in this fucking place? Anything? Okay, well, first let's look at this. Broken. Great. Dear Mr. Hopkin, this is to inform you that according to our records, as of blah blah blah, we still haven't received back the scaffolding or the three suspension ladders you borrowed from the blah blah blah. Please return the scaffolding within 14 days upon blah blah blah. Don't care. Alright. Alright, well... I had to come back in here because apparently I missed something. I had to look this up because I was getting lost and, and kind of irritated. What the hell? Oh no! A dead body. I didn't suspect that. Shit. She's... She's dead. Oh my god. This, this voice acting is just... Terrible. Yeah. It's dust. Similar to what I found upstairs on the floor. She was being dragged over good, here. Good job, Sherlock. House. Glad you were able to figure that out. Alright. Oh, that's fucking... That sounds fucking gross. the address of this house. Mm -hmm. Was she invited Yeah, it looks like it. Her? Okay. I just want to get this guy's fucking voice out of my ears. I don't know why it bothers me so much. It just does. Yeah, so I had I had to look up some of this stuff. I have the Locked. fucking keys. Locked. Um Ooh, spooky. I don't know why this this is the way cool. out that's nice um i don't know why this guy's voice bothers me so much i don't know what i was saying i i, I lost my fucking train of thought anyways um 
I looked I looked this up while I was looking up the other stuff. I, I kind of just want to get this this done. Not just get it done, you know, but not not deal with these puzzles anymore because they're not simple. And they're, they don't really feel like puzzles, to be completely honest. It's like... It's like a scavenger hunt half the time to find the things you need. Like, if someone was to just, like... I don't want to say spoon feed it to me, but, like, show me all my... All the fucking options I had. This flashlight doesn't even work, like... I don't... Where am I? I guess I'll just... I mean, that's very obviously an escape. You very easily could have just gone out into the forest, like... The fuck? Jesus. Oh, hi. What happened? Okay. I love how the monster villain whatever just walked up like Dunk. Like this is the second time this has happened to you. You think you'd learn your lesson by now? Seriously? Jesus. So obviously I can't escape that. So as you guys can tell, I turned the brightness up because fuck this shit. How am I supposed to get through here? He pops up. All right. Well, here we go. Jesus. Later. Get away from I don't even me. know how I'm supposed to get away. The gate? Does this gate help me? There he is! This is Lightwater Police. Stay Wait, what? where you are. You're under arrest. For what? Get down on your knees. But I didn't do anything. What the get fuck is happening? Now. You are under arrest. This makes no sense to me. This makes... Is that the end of the game? This is what happened. He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. He must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the this gate. This voice acting. It's like watching the room. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 no. He was there. He was yeah. the owner who called me. The... Former uh -huh. owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. They moved to a different town uh -huh. on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. Okay. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm I tell you, you he, he there. there. I heard you. I heard you. Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting uh -huh. lights coming on in the house and suspicious person uh -huh. moving on site. They gave us your description. They never He's saw another man. He's not gonna go to jail man. for trespassing. Like, he'll just get a fine, be? if anything. This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense Why is the cop so hard on him? I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part okay. of the bullshit story that you're giving me here. Everything suggested you oh, right, murdered there's a dead that woman. Girl. No, I you found the victim's right, blood there was a dead girl. in your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait, and yeah. the officers caught yeah. you fleeing the crime scene. You. Yeah. No one else. Guess whose fingerprints match the ones we found on the, the victim's body. Because the founder of the other guy was uh -huh. trying to kill me. <sighs> Anyways. I don't know why you murdered that woman. But I'll guarantee okay. you're never getting out. You're going down, Mr. Blameless. Mr. Blameless. That's where the game gets its name. Because it's about Mr. Blameless. So that was the ending. That was the ending to the game. You, uh... You, you, you run outside, he's there, and you, you, and you run. I'm pretty sure there's more to, more to this. I mean, there, there just had to have been, right? But I guess not. So, I guess, uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, make sure to like, share, and subscribe it. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will catch you all in my next video. Later. Oh, okay.